Hey, welcome back. I'm Jerry Summers, founder of Let's Make It Matter. In the last couple of videos, we talked about our mission and, our, and vision statements. We looked at law enforcement code of ethics, and we looked at the prosecutor's role and, and their misconduct in some situations. Today, I'd like to show you why it's important that you become one of our founding members from an individual perspective. Imagine, if you will, you're a 23-year-old a young man who has just spent an amazing day with your fiance and infant child. You receive a telephone call from your mother who is raising your younger brother all by herself. She's struggling financially and she asks if, if she could borrow some money from you until she gets paid so she can pay one of her bills until the next paycheck uh, she receives her next paycheck from work like many of us she has more month left after the money runs out you tell her of course she can borrow some money from you and and you get in your car to take a check to her after all it's a short drive and you'll be back home by the time your fiance has dinner ready you make a left turn onto a street and you hear a thud Thinking you hit something that you didn't see, you immediately stop the car in the middle of the road. You open the driver's door and you walk back towards the trunk of the car, checking on the road to see if you hit something. About 25 feet away, you notice a guy jogging towards you and he's yelling something at you. His arms are flying out like this. When, and then when he gets to about 15 feet, you can hear what he's actually saying. What he's saying is, who the F do you think you are? And I'm going to F you up. You turn to get back into your car and you realize when you turn your back and you can't get to the car before he'll be on top of you. Fearing for your safety and being a concealed weapon holder, you draw your, your firearm, which happens to be a revolver in this case, and you tell him to stay back. You immediately dial 911 and request police assistance. As you're trying to relay all the information to the police, you see another man running at a full sprint coming towards you yelling, and you turn your head slightly to look at him. That's when the first guy punches you in the left side of the head, and he punches you so hard you think you're gonna lose consciousness. He smacks your arm holding the gun and attempts to get the gun while placing you into a headlock and starting to choke you. You pull the trigger and the gun goes off. The guy takes four steps away from you and then collapses. Meanwhile, the brother's yelling, Why'd you shoot my brother? You just shot my brother and telling others to go get his gun. You're still on the phone with 911 until the police arrive <clears throat> while continuing to fear for your life. When the police do arrive, you identify yourself as the shooter. You tell them you are armed and you tell them that the gun is in your right front pocket and they retrieve it. During the legal proceedings, your attorney discovers that there was a videotape taken of the fight by a witness and they confiscated that tape. Um, your attorney requests a copy from the prosecutor and gets this response, quote, as to request B, copy of the videotape of the incident, the prosecutor is not in possession of such evidence. After a thorough search at the police department, it has been determined that the camera on which the video was recorded was never received into evidence as it was no of no evidentiary value. Yet six months earlier, an officer from that same department wrote in a report, quote, I was approached by an individual. He was holding a Kodak Easy Share camera and advised me that he videotaped a portion of the fight. My lieutenant took possession of the camera to process as evidence, end quote. Two questions for you. If you're, the accused, if you're accused of first degree murder, wouldn't you want to review the videotape? Second, it may not have been of evidentiary value to the prosecutor, but it might very well be of huge evidentiary value to your own defense. Finally, the police don't get to decide what's of evidentiary value and what isn't after they collect evidence at the scene. And they most certainly don't get the right to destroy it. Yet, these sorts of things happen and go on every single day. <clears throat> In this story, the young man who claims self-defense was convicted of murder in the third degree. He was sentenced to 17 to 30 years in prison. The jury never heard about the destroyed videotape. 
And in my mind, the police destroying evidence seized at a crime scene creates reasonable doubt. So how is all this relevant to you becoming a, a founding member of Let's Make It Matter? With enough individuals becoming members, founding members, it allows my organization to write, sponsor, and sponsor legislative change. It also allows us to review these types of incidents for free, if necessary, and to hire legal representation to launch appropriate appeals processes for those individuals who can't afford to do so when the ACLU or the Innocence Projects can't take on any more issues of this type. So please, consider becoming a member today at a one-time cost of $35. There you have it, a human perspective of what I do. Oh, and by the way, the analysis that was done on this case was done completely for free for the family of this young man by Let's Make It Matter. Thank you for your time, and I want you to consider this. When we get into these kinds of situations, and in order to prepare for an appeal, will cost this family about $50,000 to get the appeal. And if they're successful, all the appeal gets them is a brand new trial. And that trial is going to cost them another $50,000. Think about yourself and your loved one being accused of something and not having $100,000 to reverse what's already been done. That's why I'm looking to raise founding members. If I could get 10,000 or 100,000 founding members, we have money available at that point to take on these kinds of battles and to correct these wrongs. Together, let's make it matter. Thank you very much and go out and make it an incredible week.